Hi, I'm Mark Rouch, uh, Development Specialist for Bayer in Southern New South Wales. And we're in Area Park in Southern New South Wales, uh, just looking at a Sakura uh, large plot demonstration. And what we've done here is we've, uh, we've got an untreated on my left um, with a population of about 160 ryegrass per square metre. Uh, and then a treated on my right um, where we've got uh, close to 96% control with Sakura. And this trial is different to the other small plot trials that we've done in the past in that it, uh, it's, the aim is to demonstrate the, the product uh, efficacy when um, it's sown by a grower's seeding equipment. So the CD, the farmer here used a knife point press wheel, which is fairly common in this area, um, and hasn't cultivated in this area on his farm for close to 10 years. And I think that's why the products work so well here. The weed seeds are, are right on the surface, um, and all pre-emergent products tend to work pretty well in that situation. Now we're in an untreated area, um, and you can just see how much ryegrass is here. I'll just part the crop to show you. Um, all that is ryegrass and it's resistant to group A and group B chemistry and Sakura has given 96% control um, of, this, of this ryegrass. I'm standing in the, the treated area right now. Um, I just wanted to show you Sakura has given about 96% control on this site. You can see that some ryegrass plants have survived and they, these generally are quite stunted. Uh, plants. Um, this one's quite a tall one, but some of them are quite, are quite short plants, such as this one. And uh, this is fairly typical for Sakura. The plants that do survive generally are very stunted and do not compete with the crop. We use a number of pre-emergent uh, chemicals under our wheat. Um, Low gran obviously as a, as a staple really uh, for a broad spectrum broadleaf and uh, controlling some, some grasses. Uh, Trifluorin, box of gold, um, in our canola we're looking at atrazines and even um, your group B's in your clear fields. So we're using full spectrum of chemicals. Certainly as a pre-emergent it's proved itself to be the most robust in, in certainly in trial work. Um, we'll look at some, um, some more commercial trials next year uh, through commercial applications. But at the moment, certainly as a flexible type product in relation to both stability on the soil surface, um, non-binding on, on stubble, and also the length of time we're seeing control in crop, it compares very well to all its competitors. The benefit of Secure in our cropping program we see is allowing us to break down resistances we have on the property which was developed over many years of A and B chemical usage. We see it as a product that allows us more flexibility in our sowing time due to the fact that it, uh, it, it holds on the soil surface quite well over you know, well, two to three weeks and allowing us then a good opportunity to incorporate with sowing and then allow a good weed control for extended periods through the growing season to allow commercial control in crop. It may also allow us to then extend our, our cropping program, our, ro our rotation, to a, at least one more cereal crop due to allowing another group to be incorporated into our integrated weed management system and allowing commercial ryegrass control in a second year in a cereal rotation. When I say that, I say looking to secure at a nearer you know, 98, 99% control first year and then allowing a rotation to a, an alternate chemical to allow commercial crops in the second crop.